Good afternoon. Coming at you again. I've literally been on my couch for the past couple hours. Um, and then sat here, ate, watched videos on my phone. Made that one video like an hour and some change ago. There was some stuff I was supposed to do today. Um, I got a bunch of stuff I got to do this week. Um, but, um, I don't know. I just didn't really feel like leaving the house. It's like one thing that's close by, I'll, I'll get that done today. Hopefully. But, um, me. tired. Um, Something else I want to talk about. So, it's something I did. Ten years ago. In 2013. That a whole bunch of people. Uh, relatives. Nazis. <laughs> Bunch of people, they're trying to undo what I legally did. Like, I need to under I need people to understand something. Right? I was born in 1984. You understand me? I'm old. I'm old. Like, I wish, I kind of wish I didn't, like, pull them out of my beard, but, like, I had a bunch of gray hairs. I'm, I stay with gray hairs. But, I had some gray hairs I had pluck out of my beard a few days ago because I just don't like the way it looks. Excuse me. But I'm old. I am an adult. You understand me? The last month that I was a minor. was April of 2002. I became a legal adult May 21st, 2002. So, with each year going forward, I get older and older and older. Dude, I'm grown. You understand me? I'm grown. And it makes me angry for people to try to undo things that I have done as an adult. You understand what I'm saying? In the last video that I made, about an hour and some change ago. It's like I said, I got family members, relatives that try to associate me with things and people that I don't want to be associated with. Now, when I say people, once again, not saying family, because like I said in the last video, I have relatives that are gay. I'm not disrespecting my relatives. I'm talking about the people that are not my relatives and the people that aren't my relatives that are gay. I don't want anything to do with that. 
but I digress. My situation, what I'm talking about, the legal situation that I'm talking about, you understand what I'm saying? Um, it's like there's people in my house or people that come into my house that have been coming into my house for the past year and certain documents that I have, they're disappearing. Now, I'm going to say what I'm going to say, and I don't care who gets mad, who don't like it, whatever the case may be, feel me, who might ever be in my house, whoever might ever be listening, whatever the case may be, for the people that touched my stuff, I will do you how they do people or did people at one point in time in them Arab countries I will hack your hands and arms and feet right off your body I will cut your hands clean off for touching what's mine if it ain't yours, don't touch it. Understand what I'm saying? You know, I myself have made mistakes of touching things that don't belong to me in the past. But that's in the past. So if you're living off of stuff that happened years ago or decades ago whatever the case may be especially for the people that live off of stuff that happened fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty years ago you're a sick piece of dog crap And you need to get punched in the face. Seriously. There's people that I've never even met before. They heard about something through somebody else and they just went and touched my stuff. For that, you deserve my knife to get ran right through your intestines. You deserve for me to crack your skull open. You understand what I'm saying? Um, there's people that touch my stuff just so they could have some type of leverage in a situation. Have some type of leverage over me. You might have the leverage for a moment. Hell, you probably might not have any leverage at all. Why? Why do that when... If you know about how, how I am and how I react to certain things... You see this cap? It's red, right?
Like when I get angry, like talking about super, 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 super angry. I mean, like Incredible Hulk angry. Solomon Grundy angry. I could turn as red as that cat. Bright, bright, bright red. Like supernova red. And I can mess some stuff up. And people. But. I. Don't like to be bothered. You know the strange part about everything? I don't like to be bothered. I don't like to be bothered. Like. I don't like people to bother me. I don't bother people. Feel me? Years ago when life was different. I'll be in the hood. I'll go holler at people. Go check people. Go check my god kids. I would be cordial, very cordial. Check everybody in this. Go about my business. I ain't cause no trouble for nobody. You understand what I'm saying? Because I never liked the conflict. And the reason why I never liked the conflict because I know myself and I know what I'm capable of. I done told people already. It's always the quiet guy in the room that you have to be worried about. And I was never one of the loud mouths that thought I was big and bad. I knew and I know a bunch of guys and females that was loudmouths. Thought they could whoop everybody until somebody put them in their place. Some of the same. Loudmouth dudes that made a whole bunch of noise. They're wary around me. Because like I said, it's the quiet guy. Quiet guy don't cause no trouble, but when you bring trouble to the quiet guy, he gonna throw something back at you that you wasn't expecting or something you possibly can't handle. So I pride myself on being the quiet guy. I stay to myself and I don't bother nobody. Works better for me that way. Like I said, oh, I miss being able to check the homies, go check the homegirls, see how everybody doing, you know what I'm saying? Check on everybody, cuz. Yeah, of course. But hey, life changes. But I've digressed a whole lot, and whatever the case may be. I'm gonna say this before the time runs out. 
what I did for myself 10 years ago, legally, the people that's trying to undo what I did legally, there's definitely going to be legal, legal ramifications for what y'all are doing or have done because at the end of the day, if you put your bad juju on me to try to screw up my situation or you just went ahead without my consent to do anything and change anything, somebody going to deal with you. It might not necessarily be me. Could be me. Who knows? But somebody going to deal with you. One way or another. I'm going to leave it at that.